Delhi just survived something far bigger than a car blast. A Hummer style drone and rocket strike planned right in the heart of India's capital. According to NIA's probe, terrorists were days away from launching weaponized drones, gliding rockets, and pneumatic launch precision bombs, the same tactics Hamas used on 7th of October. And the operation's technical brain, a 20 something Kashmiri drone expert named Jasir Bilal Wani, now in NIA custody. This is front page, AIM Network's video first newsroom that brings you the latest information that matters. This is not noise, not speculation, but purely tech and truth with urgency. Please subscribe as it inspires us to keep bringing you the unvarnished truth and substance. Tonight, we break down exactly how India stopped what could have been the largest drone-based terror attack in the nation's history. The Red Fort Card bomb that killed 15 and injured many more was actually Plan B. Investigators now believe the suicide blast was a panic detonation triggered when the original drone rocket plan started collapsing. The Doctor Module, a white-collar network led by Dr. Umar Un Nabi, a medical professional from Pulwama has been preparing this. Hummer-style gliding rockets, 20 to 25 kilometer range. Improvised pneumatic launch rockets. Rail-launched UAVs. Payload-dropping drones capable of releasing bombs over crowded markets. All of this using cheap, locally available parts and high technical expertise. The scary part, you know? that this was urban warfare engineered for India. Enter Jaseer Bilal Vani, aka Danish, a political science graduate, no military training, no formal engineering background, but an extremely skilled drone modifier who had already built small weaponized drones. NIA says he was developing Drones with high capacity batteries to carry heavier explosives. Camera fitted payload systems. Early prototypes of rocket assisted UAVs and attempts at mini gliding projectiles. The same kind Hamas and ISIS deploy in Syria, Iraq and Israel. What's even more terrifying was that this was execution level prototyping inside India coordinated across Kashmir, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. His role, active co-conspirator, the technical operator, the one who turned ideology into hardware. Investigators now believe Delhi was the target for multiple simultaneous attacks, rockets, drones and car bombs designed to mimic the shock and chaos strategy used by Hamas, which is fast, cheap, hard to intercept and highly disruptive. Just one payload drone dropped over Chandni Chowk or Connaught Place could have caused mass casualties, instant city-wide panic, complete collapse of policing bandwidth, ripple effects across India's security grid. The NIA says the only reason India didn't witness its first major drone terror strike was because several arrests came just in time, forcing Dr. Umar to prematurely trigger the car bomb. Multiple reports suggest that the blast was a cover-up, not the main event. What makes this case different is the profile of the terrorists. They were not farmers, not foot soldiers, not cross-border handlers, but educated, technically skilled professionals Doctors, drone engineers, logistics managers operating with modern tools. This disturbingly is the new face of terror. High skills, low cost commercial tech, social media radicalization and the ability to build Hamas style weapon systems without crossing a border. This is what NIA calls 
white collar urban terror as for the breakthrough it came through because of this digital footprint mapping procurement pattern tracing drone battery and component analysis surveillance around al falaha university forensic evidence like tatp traces in the bomber shoe and early arrests that triggered panic inside the module bani has now been remanded to 10 days of nia custody where investigators say the priority is recovering drone prototypes identifying transnational handlers mapping the full technical network and preventing any remaining plans from activation so what is the bigger picture india just prevented an entire future of war from entering our cities a future where cheap drones improvised gliding rockets and hummer style payload systems could turn crowded markets and monuments into targets a future where terror is carried by machines in the sky and thanks to the nia the delhi police intelligence agencies and frontline officers that deadly future never arrived but here's the harsh truth this is unfortunately only the beginning around the world terror groups are shifting to low cost high impact technologies drones ai assisted triggers encrypted communication and autonomous explosives and india is responding with its own transformation ai powered surveillance grids quantum secure communication research indigenous in anti drone systems made in india defense technology space based intelligence a government that has made zero tolerance to terrorism a national doctrine whether it is mission sudarshan chakra india united states critical technology partnerships semiconductor self reliance or the rapid roll out of anti drone systems india is preparing for a new battlefield a battlefield where code matters as much as courage where intelligence matters as much as infantry and yet at the heart of this story is something beautifully simple we sleep safely because someone else stays awake tonight we thank our nia officers who chased digital trails and cracked the plot our police and paramilitary units who guard our cities our intelligence teams who prevent the attacks we never hear about our soldiers on the borders and our farmers the quiet strength of this country who feed every home so the nation stands tall more than anything else india just proved something bigger when terror evolves we evolve faster when threats rise our resolve rises higher and when someone tries to break this country india stands together stronger smarter unshaken please do let us know what you think in the comments below and please stay with us front page will continue bringing the stories that matter for the future of india's security technology and sovereignty Thank you.